sponsored by MoviePass. One monthly fee gets you into the movies every single day. Sign up at moviepass.com slash partner slash cow. Movies these days are so riddled with cliches. Sometimes it's more than one man can bear. But who am I? Well, I'm just a guy employing voiceover to introduce the major themes of the video you're about to watch. So here are my top 10 movie cliches. Oh, and by the way, starting the movie with voiceover is number 10. So let's move on to number nine, bad guy exposition. This happens either when a main character has been captured by the villain of the film, or it happens when the bad guy is being introduced. Observe. I have no discernible reason to tell you my master plan, but tell you I shall. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up Jupiter! and I'm gonna use my new super weapon to do it, haha! <laughs> and since I'm about to kill you anyway, might as well tell you my social security number as well, <laughs> Number eight, montages. Ah yes, Old Faithful. This is one you wanna show a lot of really boring things very quickly to keep the plot of your movie humming along. A lot of romantic comedies do this when one of the characters is getting a makeover. montage for just about anything. Heck, we could use a montage right now to get through this episode. Making, during my lonely travels on nameless streets. Oh, and speaking of makeovers, number seven. Guy doesn't notice girl until she takes off her glasses. Man, I'll tell you right now, there is nothing Rose could do to make me ever think that she's attractive. Rose? Did you get a haircut or something? <laughs> Number six, he is family. This is when someone is in the hospital and the best friend wants to come visit, but the nurse says, only next of kin is allowed in. And then someone replies, he is family. And it's supposed to be this huge emotional moment. No, seriously, I'm glad that you guys are BFFs for life, but I could really get in a lot of trouble. Okay. Oh, and speaking of best friends, number five, the idiot best friend character. This is that annoying character in every romantic comedy movie ever made that's just here to say stupid stuff and be the comic relief. Boy, Greg, I really have a crush on this girl, but I just have the worst luck with love. <laughs> Beer, video games, parties, and girls. <laughs> <laughs> You've been my best friend for life. <laughs> Number four, the obligatory scene where the main character does the do. <laughs> Incredibly rarely is this scene ever actually furthering the plot. It's usually just a lazy way of showing that two characters really, really like each other. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, Josh, Josh, how about we skip the uh, skit for this scene in particular, please? <laughs> Okay. Number three, the dolly zoom. This is that thing when a character in the movie realizes something very important and then the camera pulls away while zooming in or vice versa. Here, I'll show you. Except you're not gonna be able to tell because the black backdrop, Kelly, can you uh, help me out here? Just stand back here to get some little, like get the field there and going on, Josh, come over here, okay. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna act like I realized something just so incredibly important to the plot. Number two, the chatty bad guy. Now this is different than when the villain is explaining his entire evil plot. This is that moment near the end of the film when the villain has the good guy right where he wants them. He's got his weapon drawn and he's about to kill our hero. Ha ha ha, victory is mine. All I've got to do is pull the trigger and you're toast, buddy, toast. Ha ha, so, so I'm gonna do it right now. Here we go. Just waiting a half second longer. I'm really relishing this moment. Oh, wait, but to fully appreciate this moment, you need to know about number one. Oh, hey, that one character isn't actually dead. <laughs> okay, so at some point during the movie, there's a character who gets killed, or so it seems. See, here's the thing, they die off camera, but it's still heavily implied that they're dead. Oh no, that character went back into the building right before it exploded. Do you think she's okay? Oh geez, everyone in the movie is acting like she's dead. That means she's dead. I guess that means they're gonna cancel the sequel that she's starring in next summer. But if you apply my rule of action movies, you'll always know what's really going on. The rule is simple, repeat after me. If you didn't see it, it didn't really happen. Okay, now that you know our rule, let's go back. Ah! What happened? What? Agent Kelly, you survived? Yeah, you didn't think that I'd let a little thing like a building exploding stop me, did ya? Well, Actually, the building was a complete pile of rubble, so naturally I thought that you disintegrated, but very convenient that you survived. 
You know, another cliche is how expensive it is to go to the movies these days. But what if I told you that there is a movie theater subscription service where you pay a monthly fee and you can go to the movies every day? Well, that's what MoviePass is. MoviePass supports about 95% of theaters nationwide. They send you your very own MoviePass card and then you use that at the box office. Just go to the MoviePass app, tell it which movie you want to see, swipe your card at the theater, and boom, you're in. So check it out at moviepass.com slash partner slash cow. <laughs> beer, video games, <laughs> yeah, like beer, <laughs> video games, <laughs> parties and girls. Ha 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 ha